Hey guys, welcome to this training video. And here I'm gonna show you how to use data tables. Data tables are wonderful. They are the best thing ever. If you want to create a nice looking HTML table like the one that you see in front of you and without a lot of configuration, you can use data table. It gives you a lot of flexibility. For example, you can sort through columns, you can search through stuff. And also at the bottom, you will see it also gives you a navigation by page by page. And at the same time, it also gives you a breakdown of how many records can you view at any given time or if you want to view them all. And so that's what we are going to be learning in this training video. So if you are in the need for creating a really looking, really awesome looking HTML table with don't want to do a lot of work, data tables are the ones you want to use for uh, for your HTML table in your project. So let's see what are the things we're going to be looking at and what are the things we're going to be needing for this particular project. So I'm going to open up my Sublime Text Editor. Or is, that is my favorite editor of choice at the moment. So in here, what we're going to be needing is our jQuery because uh, data table plugin is dependent upon jQuery. So you have to include that in there. And then you have to also include two files from the data table. One of them is a CSS file and not to worry, you can get all of this code from the link below and then some more. And like I said, one of them is the CSS file, which it's right here. And then another one is the JavaScript file. Once you have those two plugged in, you're all ready to go. For the sake of this project, I also included a library called chance.js, where you can check it out on your own convenience. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just pretending to create some fake data, and that is a great library to include in your project in case if you have the need for creating some fake data for whatever reason. So for this particular tutorial, I have the need to create some fake data. So that is why I'm using Chance.js. Let's move on. So I'm assuming you already know how to use uh, jQuery or are familiar with it. And if you're not, let me just give you a quick introduction on how to use it. So all you do is open up your script tag and then you write this line of code that says document ready function and then you open it with the curly bracket and at the bottom you close it with the curly bracket and parenthesis with semicolon. You don't really need it but you can do it just for uh, cleaning up purposes. And that's that. So in order for you to do that, so that's how you use jQuery when the DOM is ready. And now in here, next step is creating our fake data. But in the, another video I'm going to be sharing with you, which you can watch or rather go to the blog post in which I will show you how you can use your Ajax data that you get from your uh, external call, whether it'll be your API call or you just doing some lookup on your page or whatever the case might be. You can use that from the link in the description that will show you how to incorporate your Ajax data in the data tables uh, part of it. So, but I don't have any Ajax data, so I'm just faking it saying, hey, this is how you create the data table. So I have created a array, which I'm going to push stuff into it. So in other words, I'm gonna create rows. And then in the chance library, which is right here, basically what it does is it creates a fake name, fake gender, whether a female or male, and then fake phone number, and then dollar amount, fake one, and then your email address. You can specify which domain you want to use, or you could just leave it, take this part out completely, and it's gonna assign a generic random domain. So, so far, this is what it's going to be doing it. So if I refresh the page, let me do it again, again one more time. So it created a fake name, 
assign the gender, assign the phone number with the proper format, with this is all US based, and then assign the dollar amount, I just called it a weekly salary, and then the email address. And next, we're going to be looking at how can we take this data array and create this nice looking table. But before that, here's a word from our sponsors. Hey, here's a blatant sales pitch for you to buy my stuff. Go under my store section. There you will find a lot of products that you are going to enjoy and benefit a lot from. Here's one of them that I think you can benefit most from. If you have been playing around with the Node.js system for a little bit and want to learn how to create yourself a secure login system for your site or for your client who is paying you X amount of dollars and you want to deliver that to that particular client, this training series is right for you you because in here i'm going to walk you through step by step what you exactly need to do to create a very secure login system based on node.js and mongodb everything that you need to know will be included in here and i will go through step by step and explain every single thing that you need to know to build or also incorporate some of the things that you're going to learn here in this series into your own project or make it even better i will give you all the code that you can download and include it into your project pretty much all you do is copy and paste in your project and you are all set so all the work will be done for you as a far as coding goes so you copy and paste and your coding time will be cut almost in half but that any further ado, let's just get started. So basically, all you really need to know is, is assume you need to know your basic understanding of HTML, which is your H tags and P tags and all that good stuff, and some basic understanding of CSS and JavaScript. That's all you need to know. Everything else you will learn in this training series. So I will really look forward to meeting you in the next part where we're going through all the stuff you will need to know to build yourself a secure login system. All right, I'll see you in the next video. All right, back to your video now. All right, welcome back. So now let's look at the code that generates this nice looking data table, which has your entries where you can expand it to say more show me more than 10 entries so for example if i want to see 25 entries i could just click on this and then it's going to expand it and then if i scroll down now I only have two pages if i go back here and say show me 10 entries now i have four pages because it has total 40 records and at the bottom it will tell you which page you are on. So if I go to the next page by clicking on the button on the data tables next then it's going to say it's showing 11 or 20. If I click on it again, it's going to show 21. Well, you get the picture. Now, if I go in here under the search part of this data tables, if I, let's say, for example, if I start typing stuff in, it's going to start filtering it. So let's say if I type in 751, it's going to start filtering it on all the rows of the HTML table. And it's going to try to match it where it fits. So if I type in 751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751751
300 all of this so while i have the search part in here and then you'll see only there are three records i mean three rows and i could still do all the sorting of that particular data so it keeps your data whatever you see on the html table right there you can filter it once and then on that filter of this data table you can sort it as well oh my god that is amazing like i said this is one of the greatest functionality that all my clients love and they just thank me for it and then if you use this your clients will thank you thank you too all right so enough said let's look at how does this little bad boy gets created so here we are so let me expand this a little more to make the screen bigger so we already learned how to create this fake data and now next part is and this is all that it takes to plug in the data that we created up here and create a nice looking table so here's here we go so what it does is it looks for a jquery element it could be a id or a class in this case i have it uh, id because in jquery if you put the pounds on that means that you want to call the id of an element or if you put the dot in there that means you want to call a class basic jquery stuff if we already know this you already know if you don't know now you know all right and then we call this function called data table and then we open the bracket curly bracket then we close it and then at the bottom right here we close this so this is a function and then with it, this function there is a object called data and data basically it is is like hey what do you want me to show in this particular table so in this case what i'm saying is take the data table array that i have it here the fake data i dumped it in there i want you to show in there and then it also have an object called menu length what that means is hey all of these options i want you to put it in here so this is option one so you can put down 15 25 blah 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 or you could say show all so this just i will leave it in there by default and that's what i do in all my projects so i would recommend you do the same thing it just makes life a whole lot easier and then what it does the next part is you can say hey i wanted to within these numbers how many records do you want me to show any given time or when the table is created so in this case i'm saying only show me at first 10 records and then here comes the most interesting or some people find a confusing part where they're like hey i got the data but i don't know how i can label the columns to call it whatever i want so how do you do that is there's a object called columns and with you can assign that object array and then within that array you can assign an object for each of your value of array that we put in here so for example the first value is a name so you can literally type in username my name associate name student name or whatever you put in here just to make sure that you have the same number of column entries or objects so this is being one object this is being two three four five so i'm just going to make this a capitalized just to show you so right now this is all lowercase if i refresh it and it capitalizes it so it's really that simple so that's that and that's all you need to do so call this function add the data table add your columns and then and then this id the table id is wherever you want the table to show so in this case i have a empty table container it's called id and then a table id is your table and then i just added a little bootstrap table functionality in there but you don't have to and then once the page gets loaded 
all of this data and gets loaded and you have yourself a nice looking pretty data table very simple to do not a lot of programming to do but once you get the hang of it you'll be snapping the, all these data tables into your project and you're going to love life and your clients will thank you all right guys until the next time happy coding and also if you want to know the, how to get the ajax part of it click on the link below or just visit codewithmark.com just visit codewithmark.com and there you can find how to use ajax call with the data tables plugin with jQuery. all right guys talk to you later